Hey guys, it's Ruby and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I think you guys are going to like this video. I am going to be filming my first day back at school, but it's not online school, okay? <laughs> So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all my first day back at school. It's a bit different with my schooling because I'm really cold on site. Let's put a blanket over me. Cozy. This video is a little bit different because I'm not going back to online school. I am going to be going back to public school. Is that what it's called? Public school, face-to-face -face school, not online school. Very different to online school, which is a bit scary. Have I actually got a line on my head? Really was um doing French pass in my hair and she was parting it with a pencil. I think she got a line on my forehead. <laughs> I'm going back to face-to-face -face school, which is a big step because obviously it's very, very different to online school. Whole different scenario. I'm actually going back to the school I was in for year seven. If you don't know the story, in year seven, I went to a public school. Then I left like September early year eight because I wanted to do online school. I number one wanted to try it out and also because of COVID. I didn't really like the way the schools were during COVID. I decided to do online school, but it was always a temporary thing for me. Everyone's different and everyone kind of works better with some schools. And just for me, online school wasn't, I didn't see myself doing it forever. And now is the time to go back. During Christmas break, I kind of set up going back to school. And tomorrow is my first day back. I, I'm not as scared as I think I would be because I'm going back to a school I know. I'm familiar with most people there. I know my tutor group. I know like Amelia's there. Loads of my friends are there. So I'm actually happy I'm not going to something completely like new. Yeah, it's still scary because I'm going to be like the new kid for like a couple weeks, which freaks me out because I don't know. It's just a scary situation, I guess. Yeah, so that is pretty much the story time and hopefully it goes well. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be like really on edge because obviously in online school, I woke up like eight-ish. Now I have to leave at eight. I wanted to show you guys my bag tonight, everything that's happening, kind of just like help myself from having to film loads in the morning because I know I'm gonna be too stressed to like really like tell you guys what's in my bag and what's going on in the lessons I have tomorrow. So my school bag. I don't know if you guys saw like my school bag a couple years back, but I'm pretty sure I actually had this school bag. I'm obsessed with this bag. I had to use it. It's just because I do have another bag which I wanted to use, but I really don't want to get it like messy. And is it just my school? I remember in year seven, I'd put my bag on the floor and my bag would get dirty. Like it's got dust on the floor. It's just like mud from people's feet and it gets on the bags. So this is a Jack Wills bag. I love it. It's got little flowers on it. And I'm using this just because it's still going and I really love this bag. In year seven, completely overpacked my bag. Thing about my backpack this year, I've decided not to pack that much. I've got one pencil case. It's super small. It's by Happy Pack, I think. Happy Pack, I don't know. In here, there's a highlighter, a pencil, a pen, a rubber, and a sharpener. That's all I really need. Literally half of my friends to school, all they bring is a pen in their blazer. So I think this is actually overpacking. Then I've got deodorant, perfume. My mum wanted me to bring this even though I didn't want to bring it. <laughs> I've got this little notes book. I wrote notes on it. Just in case I need to know anything down. I don't know if I'll end up doing that. I've got a calculator. I'm not completely sure if I need this. In the front of my bag, we've got hair bubbles. Like sometimes I don't have my hair up. And when I've got PE, they always force you to put your hair up and I, I'm always that person who has hair bubbles. Hand sanitizer, if you're wanting a hand sanitizer, you know how they all stink? Well, this one's the aloe vera antibacterial hand gel. This one smells so good and it's a really good hand sanitizer as well. I've also got Vaseline and that's basically everything in my bag. Also on days where I have PE, I've got my PE kit here, it's an OTP bag. I've just got my PE shirt, leggings and some socks in there. And then also tomorrow I will be putting in my water bottle and my pat lunch because I've decided to take a pat lunch. I don't like going to the canteen. This is the water bottle I'll be using. I'm obsessed with this water bottle. I feel like it's just the right size and it's not too heavy. By Hydracy. I love this water bottle. I've had it for like years now and it's just like everything I'd want in a water bottle. But that's basically everything in my backpack for this year. I don't know if it will migrate to me having school books in there. Honestly don't know because all I remember is year seven where I added way too much to my bag <sighs> anyone who starts new schools will know that it's like it's not that i'm scared it's just that i'm just like stressed that's the feeling i've got right now i'm a bit overthinking stuff that's a little update of all i need to tell you guys for tonight yeah <laughs> 
Oh, no, I'm gonna tell you what I have tomorrow. Sorry, I'm a bit, oh gosh. It's in my blazer. <laughs> my mum puts my name in everything. Like, she literally was writing on my peak at the other day. <laughs> Anyone else's mum do that? I printed out my timetable. So tomorrow, it's week B. You know how unlucky this is? My year went in last Friday. Today's Monday. So they went in on Friday as their first day, but I had COVID then, I was still testing positive. And I couldn't go in today because you have to wait 24 hours till you test negative, so you gotta test negative twice. I tested negative today, so I can go in tomorrow. But today is PE day, so I've got PE tomorrow, first period, and I'm not in the same class as any of my friends. Except from one friend, actually, so that's lucky. So we got PE, English, French, with French, guys, honestly, it's not gonna work because I, I've obviously been learning Spanish, but my school doesn't do Spanish. So not only am I gonna get confused with two languages, cause in year nine, for my school, you do French and German, French, German, and Spanish. I'm gonna be switching. I'm gonna be like, hola, bonjour. I don't know how to say hello in German cause I've never taken a lesson in German. PE, English, French, history, and maths. I mean, that day isn't that bad. I don't have any of my friends in maths. I also don't know like any of my teachers except from my history teacher. Oh, and my DT and art teacher. <laughs> I feel like I would prefer the school to online school. The online school I went to was really good. Nothing to do with the school. Just genuinely, I think that with online school, I just didn't get enough socialization. Obviously it's different for other people's situations. Like most of my friends in online school, I'm still in contact with my friends from online school, by the way. Most of my friends from there, they like traveling all the time, which is one of the reasons they do it. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, let's get on with the video. <sighs> okay. Ruby. Quarter to seven. I do not want to be awake right now. I don't know how I'm going to do this every day. I really don't know how I'm going to do this every day. I don't know how I did this every day. Honestly, I don't, I don't even understand. I'm not even awake right now. It's a dream. My mum ran me a bath to wake me up. Showers only wake me up. Baths make me like sleepy. So we'll see how that goes. Got no time to chat. Let's get up. 6.55. I've got a Christmas background still. I just got out the bath. I'm now gonna go on to makeup. Good morning, sunshine. Maybe for today, I'll just put some mascara on and brush out my eyebrows. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm scared. Like, there's not even a particular reason I'm scared. I think it's just because it's like all new and different. And yeah, a bit stressful because like being the new person, you are gonna get people looking at you, even if like you were there before, more of a reason. Because obviously I wasn't there yesterday, one of the teachers, Amelia, told me that she's excited to have me back because I had her for year seven. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. I'm not really, I've never done a lesson of German. I've got German today and I've never even done a lesson of German and I think it's gonna be hard for me. And there's no sets for it, so you're just doing year night German. And now, there's something in the mm, I don't want to be awake right now. <laughs> but Rayleigh's not going back yet because she is still testing positive for COVID. The rest of my family is awake, my mum and my dad are awake. Um, but Rayleigh's still asleep. Lucky her. Okay, I'm gonna finish my makeup off camera and then I'll talk to you guys in a bit. <sighs> makeup done. I've done mascara, I used brow gel and some lip balm and a little bit of powder. Now I'm gonna deal with my hair. I'm gonna just take it out because that's all I really need to do. It is super curly though. I was scared because really flattered it wet. We're just gonna stay with this curly hair, but I'm not the greatest fan of it because it looks a bit greasy. Maybe it's still damp. <laughs> this is what it looks like, the hair. The thing about curly hair is I fed it with my hair so much, so I was not gonna put it up because I'd be keeping redoing it all day and no one would want that because it would distract people. Um, I think my mum's getting me some cereal, but until then, I think I've gotta get changed because I'm a little bit stressed about getting changed. So I'm gonna get changed, guys. First, let's open. I'm gonna get some closure. Turn his light on. Hey, Nugget. There he is. 
I just put my school uniform on. So I just brushed out my hair. I think it actually looks a lot better now. It's like a bit more frizzy, but in a good way. Anyways, I'm gonna get some breakfast now because I'm so hungry. I didn't expect to be hungry at this time, but I am. Drink of water first. I walk down how they all react. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're that sweet little proper kind of school girl that goes to school and everything. You look really nice. Your hair looks nice. So in my pet lunch, I have a ham and cheese sandwich. There's some grapes in that. A brunch bar and some really sort of crisps. I probably won't eat all of it, but that's mum. Nice. This is what I'm having for breakfast. I'm having um, a bowl of cocoa pops. I just had a breakfast. I actually wasn't hungry. I just put some perfume on. Now I'm ready to go. So that's the finishing touches done. I'm gonna head to school now. Wish me luck. Thank you guys for watching this part of the video. I'll see you guys after school and I'll tell you how it goes. Bye. Wish me luck. Hey guys, I'm home from school. I am so tired. I ended up doing PE and my hair, it was raining, so my hair went so flat. But it doesn't look as bad anymore, but the curls have literally gone. So school was actually good. I enjoyed it. My P class was good. I actually really liked that. It was fun. English was actually okay. What was the other one? French. Mm, it was all right. It's actually quite good. Um, history was all right. Overall, all my classes were good. But there's one problem. I have found out that I have terrible eyesight. I think I might have short sighted eyesight, I'm not sure, but like when I'm in class, I can't see the board properly. I can't see the writing on it. It's all blurry and fuzzy. Um, so I'm getting an eye test for that, but it's a pain because I actually can't see. <laughs> Anyways, I got back from school. Overall, I actually enjoyed my day. I regret stressing over it because it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be at all. I've got blisters on the back of my feet though because of my shoes. Yeah, if you're scared to go back to school, then don't worry because it was better than I thought it would be. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, I couldn't film when I was actually at school. I couldn't even get my phone out once. I would have been caught by a teacher. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm so tired right now. I need to relax. I've been up since quarter seven and I've been non-stop moving around. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you all next week. Bye. Enchanté.